Hello, my beautiful fart faces. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between two canvases. One canvas is from Mindfulness Diamond Painting, who actually just went out of business. And two, the second one is from Diamond Art Club. And I actually did do a unboxing of this diamond painting, so I will link the, it in the description below, and I'll link my previous two videos of the other vi of the other canvas down below as well. So it's kind of like an ongoing series, but not because I was not expecting this to happen. Diamond Art Club ended up signing Sarah Richter with this beautiful artwork. Here is a thumbnail of the original image. This is by Sarah Richter. This Diamond Art Club one measures 65 by 81 centimeters and it's a square, so it is fairly big. And the other one we're going to be looking at is this one that I'm, I like half did because I wanted to see what that would look like. This one measures uh, 40 by 55 centimeters and it is a round diamond painting. This has 40 colors. The Diamond Art Club one has 34 colors. This, I was so pissed off when I got this because, okay, yes, this is smaller than the Diamond Art Club one, which is fine. Like, I ordered this, this size because I was like, it will turn out well enough. And if you look at it, you can barely even tell what it is. Like, what is this blob here compared to the blob here, which is obviously a bat. You can tell it's a bat. And um, this is computer rendered. So they it means that the computer generated the pattern. And then this was hand rendered. So I think they computer generate it and then someone goes in by hand and cleans it up. And you can definitely tell the difference. This image to me looks like they took they took a small version of this photo and then stretched it to fit this size because it's very pixely. It's not a crisp image. And like, yeah, I'm not expecting it to be as crisp as Diamond Art Club's, like by any means, but I'm expecting it so that you can actually tell what you're looking at. Like, look at this. There's a bat here. You can kind of tell that's a bat flying. And then here, if you look, the bat actually has a white outline, so you can definitely tell that is a bat. And look at, well, look at the drill field. The drill field on this one has a lot of random confetti. Like there's like the purple color there, purple color there and here. And it's like, what are those purple colors for? This is the sky. Here's the top of the moon. This did not have any ABs or anything special like that. The Diamond Art Club one comes with three ABs. And it's just, if you look at this part, it's very pixelated. And I'm saying it's pixelated because this is all like, this should, like it has like all these blue colors to it. And you can just tell the resolution of the background of the original image was terrible. And yeah, granted you are supposed to look at diamond paintings from far away, so it looks fine far away. But then what is this? You can't even tell that this is a bat. If you didn't see the original thumbnail photo, you wouldn't be able to tell what it is. I had issues with this canvas. They had sent me a replacement canvas, um, I think. I think this is the replacement canvas. I might be mistaken, but is it the replacement canvas? I don't know. I'll put a note here in this video what this canvas is. I'll look to see. But yeah, so they sent me a replacement canvas and it was exactly almost the same. Like it looked the same. It looked fucked up. Okay, so this is the canvas. It... <laughs> Okay, I don't know how I feel. It looks pixelated. It still looks the same. Like it still looks pixelated. And like I know this wasn't hand charted or anything, but it still looks really pixelated. But I mean, just by looking at the canvas, like, look at that. You can definitely tell there's a huge difference between hand rendering and computer rendering. It's just, I don't know. I prefer 
Obviously, I prefer hand rendering. This was not that expensive. I'll put the price right here. And this was, uh, I don't know how much it was, but I'll put the price for that right there. So you can see the difference in pricing. Uh, but remember that this, like both of them are licensed. So both of them, it means that the image was licensed by each company, Mindfulness, Diamond Painting, and Diamond Art Club. So Sarah Richter does get a cut of the proceeds from these diamond paintings, which is great because it's not stolen from, like they didn't just go in and steal her artwork. Um, and had I ordered a bigger one, do you think I like, do I think that it would have turned out better? Maybe. I don't think that it would have though, because this is already grainy. I would hate to see it stretched even bigger on a, a bigger size canvas. Like this looks like they actually had an image of de like decent or great resolution and they, they plopped it down and then this one looks like they literally stretched the image because it's so pixelated. I don't know, like this company obviously doesn't exist anymore and you can't get this diamond painting. So I like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll order this one in the bigger size for mindfulness and then we can compare the two, like a fair comparison side by side because they'd be like similar sizes. But this company is out of business, but I wanted to do this video to show you the difference between hand rendering, hand rendering and computer generated. So when people are talking about that, you know what that means. It just means basically that one company took the time to go in, make edits, whether that was beforehand or after and um, render it properly. So it did turn out nicely for a diamond painting. And then it, the other company didn't take the time to do that and they're basically like just slap it in the computer program print it on a canvas and send it out so yeah and also I think I should mention again that this is a square canvas this is a round one so obviously it's not going to be as as detailed as a square one but I think it's still a fairish comparison so you can take you can look at the difference between hand rendering and computer generated so we can like for example we can look at this flower so here's the flower on the computer generated one here's the flower on a hand rendered one so it's like a huge difference guys and like even regardless of the size of the canvas like this flower could be <laughs> more realistic but it like there's they didn't take the opportunity to do that like just look at that difference I don't know anyway so I do prefer hand generated and I hand charted whatever you want to call it and I think that for the amount of money that you're paying with Diamond Art Club and like all these other licensed companies you should be getting a hand hand edited hand rendered image um and like this while this wasn't as expensive, it just didn't do the art justice. And I was really sad. Like I was sad for Sarah because it's like her artwork and it was rendered just really crappily. But this company's out of business, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a fair comparison because they're different sizes? Is it not a fair comparison? I'm going to work on this canvas and then I'll come back and do another comparison between when the drills are down and when the drills are down on that one. So let me know in the comments down below what you prefer, computer generated, hand generated, whatever. Um, uh, if you want to continue on with this saga, go ahead and make sure that you click the subscribe button right here and all the links for my previous videos around this artwork are down below and you can also go to Sarah Richter's website. Hopefully I'll remember to put it down below as well. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Kimi!